This outfit is a monstrosity, as hoey as you want it to be, or as wholesome as you want it to be. Go with a fake baby if you're like hitting the bars or something. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Halloween vids, the third in the October series. So I want to try something new today. Instead of doing tutorials on like three, four, or five specific costumes in a video, I want to curate costume ideas, 20 of them. So this is going to be like speed round of 20 costume ideas for solo costumes, duos and couples, and group ideas. And I will have an Amazon storefront link for all of the items that I would use to build out each of these costumes. I'm super excited to do like literally 20 costumes versus like three or four. Let's get started. Okay, so let's start with solo costumes. I've got four and these are all like four iconic characters slash celebs of 2022. The first one is Elvis. I just saw the movie. Austin Butler was truly incredible and I think there's gonna be a lot of Elvises this year. So I think we've got the movie cover art where he's got like the pink pantsuit, which I think is really, really cute. I think a key prop to this costume is gonna be to have like a little mini guitar. I know people are probably not gonna be keen to like carry a cumbersome full-size guitar, so like maybe like a little mini guitar. And then obviously traditional Elvis is like the white jumpsuit, which is kind of just like a white onesie or like one piece with some kind of cape. And there's like some major DIY potential here for bejeweling the white jumpsuit. And bonus points if you want to go full send with an Elvis wig. Next up, now that we all collectively as a world have a crush on Miles Teller after Top Gun, I think there's going to be a ton of roosters this year. I almost just called him Goose. His name is definitely not Goose, it's Rooster. There's gonna be a ton of Top Gun people. I feel like all of the men of the world already have the mustache going on. So again, like the Elvis wig, bonus points, you're gonna do a full set of the mustache. But I think any kind of like green cargo set, whether it be like a full jumpsuit, top and a skirt, a dress, shorts, pants, whatever it is, as long as you're doing that green color, there are a ton of DIY options in terms of like Top Gun themed patches to decorate like the breast chest area. And I think above all, the aviator sunglasses are gonna be like the absolute key to tying it all together. Harry Styles and the album cover of Watermelon Sugar is truly so iconic. And just overall is a really cute outfit. So he's got the high-waisted white pants that have like the double gold buttons, which again are super easy to DIY if you just have like regular high-waisted white pants. The pink button down, pink suspenders. And then I feel like there's a really great opportunity here to like carry a fake watermelon, whether that be like a watermelon squishmallow, or you literally just like print out a popsicle stick to have a little watermelon with you. I think there's major DIY potential here to like make it more identifiable. The Harry stands will know, but you know, for the, the people, the people who are outside of the Harry stands, in case they need a little help. I don't know how I feel about Julia Fox. I have a lot of mixed opinions, I think, that I'm not gonna share on the internet. But she did have some iconic, I feel like kind of has the essence of being really positive. So I don't know if iconic is the word. Recognizable, maybe she had some highly recognizable outfits this year. This outfit is a monstrosity, but again, recognizable. This is a DIY moment. I don't know how she's keeping the bottoms up, but if any of you try this costume, maybe like some double-sided booby tape could be the trick here, which does affect your opportunity to go to the bathroom. But the essence of DIY in this costume is strong. And so for that reason only, I support it. It is an option for Halloween 2022. The inspo for couples this year, I don't know if people like post pandemic are just like horny and like ready to get married or something, but like lots of recognizable couples. I am a huge fan of Travis Barker and Kourtney Kardashian, which I think has major costume potential. I do think that whoever is the Travis Barker of the duo has to do a lot of the heavy lifting. So for this one in particular, we've got like plaid pants. He's got like the emo punk grunge look, very easy to put together. I feel like Courtney in all of their paparazzi photos is just like wearing black chic hair slicked back, like that's that's easy. It's really the Travis that I feel like makes this an iconic duo. And so if you don't wanna go just like the grunt emo look, full send if the Travis Barker of the costume wants to do full body temporary tattoos, that's iconic. I better see one of you be able to talk your boyfriends into doing a full body temporary tattoo. It won't be Jeremy and I, but I hope it's one of you guys. 
Another duo or couple is Love and Joe from the show You. And I think we can do better this year than just throwing on a baseball cap because that's like Joe's whole thing is that he suddenly is like invisible once he has a baseball hat on. So Abby Herbert and her husband did an incredible costume of this. And I think like the two main props that you need for this one are a baby, whether that be real or fake. I would probably go with a fake baby if you're like hitting the bars or something. And then her husband has the body bag, which is absolutely hilarious. It's like the black garbage bag with like the shitty tape wrapped around it. And I think as long as you're blood splattered, he's got the hat. I feel like you need the hat and you a Goldberg. This movie isn't out yet and I'm so excited for it but Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling are playing Barbie and Ken and this is basically just straight up like 70s workout Barbie so there are so many easy pieces to like put together but I think there's two main outfits that have kind of leaked. One is like very like Barbie and Ken cowboy cowgirl that's like very 70s and just like fun and glittery but I think the one that is like the most recognizable is definitely like the neon workout in the rollerblades and I think even without the movie being out, it's still definitely giving Barbie and Ken. Again, it will not be Jeremy and I, but I hope it's one of you guys. Brittany and Justin in their full denim outfit is like a staple. It's like a core memory of red carpets for me being a millennial uh, born in the 90s. If you haven't seen this because you're too young, spare me and don't tell me um, because I will feel decrepit and old. But Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake had this insane double everything triple quadruple denim matching outfit and it is incredible it's a red carpet outfit and it is oh my god core memory for me tana and jake paul have actually done it but this one is so easy to just like wear full denim i don't think it has to be uh, like a floor length denim gown because that is quite a niche product but again major costume duo potential okay this one is just like wholesome and cute. Again, if you don't know who Blue's Clues is, please spare me from feeling decrepit and just don't tell me. But Blue's Clues and Steve, I feel like, again, a staple, a core memory of my childhood. I think this can be as hoey as you want it to be or as wholesome as you want it to be. I have a boyfriend who wants to do the absolute minimum for Halloween, so a costume like Steve is perfect for someone like him where it's literally just like a green striped long sleeve and a pair of khakis, like in Call It A Day. That is his dream. And so for couples who want to like keep it a little more maintenance or a duo, I think this is so cute and so easy. The blue costume is like pretty simple and easily DIYable. There are so many easy tutorials on like how to do a DIY dog and obviously just like the base of it has to be blue. Black Swan and it's, I know it's not like White Swan, but like it's like the officer because she definitely has a name, right? I haven't seen Black Swan in a hot minute, but I keep seeing this costume and the girls, the besties, the duos who do this look incredible. And I think things like wings, corsets, and tutus and tiaras are like so easy to find, especially in Halloween season, that this is like a really great last minute costume, I think, that can be thrown together with not much notice and looks so good. You can't go wrong. It's so hot. Curious George and man in the yellow hat. Honestly, I've had this costume saved for so many years because I would like to do it at some point. Again, very wholesome, a staple of my childhood. I think this is so cute. I don't know if I just have like a nostalgic tie to this character, but I think one, if you're someone who wants to wear a onesie for your entire Halloween night out and be like 10 out of 10 comfy, this is a costume that is great for you. Again, it can be as hoey or as wholesome as you want it to be. I don't know if I could get Jeremy on board for a full yellow costume, but it is a costume that's like really easy to find just like through Amazon pieces and a yellow hat. And I really feel like you would get so many compliments and people being like, oh my God, I haven't seen Curious George in forever. Okay, and the last one in our duo slash couples category, I've actually done before and I just want you to actually thank me for exposing myself right here because this was my freshman year of university costume, Adam and Eve. And I understand if you're religious and this is not for you, totally understand, skip ahead 30 seconds. But this costume is so cute. But when I did it, and here we go, here's Baz and I in university, I literally went to Michael's and got some banana leaves and some fake leaves and flowers and glued them to booty shorts and boxers. <laughs> I'm not super proud of the DIY skills, but you can 
see like the, the 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 bones of what it could have been had I put a little more effort into it and had I known that this would end up on the internet 10 years later. And I'm mad at myself that I forgot about the snake. I forgot about the snake and I forgot about the apple. Again, easy props to carry. And this one is pretty DIYable. I think there's definitely some like grass skirts you could find that are pretty like ready to wear. Bonus points for the leaf nipples. <laughs> I haven't done a group costume in a hot minute, but there is nothing that I love seeing more on social media when like a whole group of friends commit to one theme. I think it's so fun. Here is some inspo for some solid group costumes. Even some of these would work as duos or couples, or you can go as much as like four, five, six, depending on the theme. This one <laughs> is hilarious. Okay, so this is Gru and Minions adult edition. <laughs> I also just realized that Gru is, I think, a girl. I'm looking at the thigh-high, over-the-knee, latex black platform boots, and I think that's definitely a female, which makes this even better. I think a minion costume is super basic and easy. It's a yellow top, it's some kind of like denim overall, and then just like a yellow beanie. So you can go, I feel like, as detailed or as simple as you want. It's pretty recognizable. And then Gru is like that black and gray striped scarf, all black, and then if you want to do a full set and get like a full Gru mask, bonus points. This is an easy one too if you've got like a group of like 12. Can't relate in that I have 12 friends that would want to dress up with me, but opportunity to have a shit ton of minions and one Gru and be a giant pack of minions. I love this one. I've only seen it done a few times where a group of girls will do all of the different Britney Spearses. So I found this graphic and I know there's so many more where it like breaks down 20 different Britney Spears and like what outfit she wore in like the iconic music video. You've got Hippie Baby one more time. Here's a really cute group of girls who all did that costume because that's just like school girl with like the little pink pom-poms and the ponytails. We've got the red latex one piece jumpsuit, which is definitely more of a commitment. Getting in and out of latex is an absolute mission, and I applaud you if you're gonna commit to this. We've got I'm a slave, which is like the green two-piece with the snake. I think as long as you're wearing green and you have the snake, done easy. And then toxic is one of my favorites that I've seen done so many times where you are the flight attendant. Brittany has had such an iconic and long career. There's so many options to be so many different Britneys. Bratz dolls, another easy one. Nostalgic. I feel like Y2K has been like so big this year and last year that you probably already have something in your closet. I did a brass tutorial I think two years ago. It's so easy to do like the brass logo iron transferred onto like any white top and then just like a cute plaid skirt and you're basically done. This one is so easy to do solo or with like a pack of brat stalls. Ted Lasso was hands down one of my favorite shows of all time. Top five for sure of like literally all time Ted Lasso. If you have not seen it, please do yourself a favor and just binge every single episode. So Ted Lasso has the soccer team that is, I think, Fake. He's basically got this like iconic little mustache, different than Top Gun. But if you did buy one fake mustache, you could really get some double use out of it for costumes for Ted Lasso and Top Gun. But this one is pretty simple in that the jerseys are blue, red, and yellow. Whistles, soccer ball, there's like a very specific white visor and the aviators that um, Ted wears specifically. But I think doing like one Ted, one beard, which makes more sense if you've seen the show, but you've got lots of iconic characters to choose from, and then obviously as many people as you want to be on the soccer team. Willy Wonka is a movie that just keeps coming back. You've got the original, you've got the Johnny Depp version, and then we've got the Timothy Sham- Sh I literally get so scared to say his last name because I don't know how to say it. Shamalay? Sh Chalamet. Timothy Sha- Sh Timothy C with the new movie coming out soon, but there's a lot of characters. So we've got Augustus Gloop, we've got Wonka, we've got Charlie, you've got Violet, you've got Veruca and Mike, and obviously the Oompa Loompas. There is so much opportunity. I feel like I've seen the most common be Violet and Wonka together because obviously like Wonka is the long red coat and the top hat. Again, bonus points if you wanna do the full like coconut head wig. And then Veruca is just like the blue tracksuit. And if you really wanna commit, again, it's like the, the blue pop makeup on her face. I don't know what it is about Spring Breakers that makes such a good costume that I feel like every girl looks so hot in. That movie was trash. Like, let's just be honest. That movie was hot 
garbage. But the actual outfits of like the ski mask, the bikini, and like the jeans is so cute for whatever reason. Like I would be a spring breaker in a second. Squirt guns only. It's so easy. It is so easy. Another one that's so nostalgic for me is Totally Spies. These are just red, green, and yellow full body unitard suit. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not hard to get on Amazon and that's literally kind of old. You can obviously accessorize with like belt, backpack, and wig. So you can take this as far as you want, but it's so easy and I think as long as like you have the three of you in those colors, it looks exactly like Totally Spies, like immediately recognizable. The cast of Scooby-Doo is one that I've seen done a handful of times, but I think that it is cute every single time. This one specifically I chose because the dogs are adorable and I feel like they needed to be shown and featured on the internet. But also the girl in the middle dressed as the mystery machine is so cute and creative. I've never seen anyone do the mystery machine and she did it so cute. Like the flowers, it looks it looks amazing. And then the girl to her left dressed as Shaggy. I feel like I typically only see guys commit to a Shaggy costume. It's so cute with the brown bell bottoms and the lime green tube top. But I think couples, super cute. Shaggy, Velma, we've got friends. Red and Daphne and I've seen some really cute family ones where they have like their baby dressed up as Scooby Which is really cute major potential potentially for most to be Scooby at one point And I think because all the characters are wearing just like regular clothes It makes it super easy to mix and match like pieces that you might already have in your closet or easy to find on Amazon Okay, so 20 costume ideas for solo duo and couples groups I feel like there's a lot of good inspo here So hopefully this was helpful for like getting your Halloween planning in action. Let me know if there's anything specific that you want to see for Halloween videos. I've got some really funny tutorials coming up soon. Fingers crossed they all turn out. But stay tuned for more Halloween videos and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!